father accused of doing the unthinkable, leaving a little boy in a hot car to die. Now the high-profile trial of Ross Harris begins. Jury selection started today in the Ross Harris murder trial. Prosecutors say that the Cobb County father didn't want to be a dad anymore and intentionally left his 22-month-old son Cooper in a hot SUV in July of 2014. The prosecutors claim Harris was sexting with underage girls while his son suffered and died. But Harris's defense claims this was all a tragic accident. Now it will be up to the jurors to decide. Fox News Angelique Proctor has followed this case for months and joins us live from the Cobb County Courthouse. And Angelique, hundreds of people are, are being questioned as potential jurors, right? That's right, Lisa. 370 potential jurors to be exact. Now, the judge started this day off dealing with hardships. Those are people who say they can't be here for whatever reason, be it a terminally ill relative or an international trip. I believe each of you has received a copy of the correspondence from the prospective jurors who have hardship requests. Cobb County Superior Court Judge Mary Staley heard from about a dozen potential jurors who have hardships or conflicts and cannot serve on the jury for one of the biggest murder trials in Cobb County history. Justin Ross Harris is accused of the unthinkable. Prosecutors say he deliberately left his 22-month-old son, Cooper, to die in a hot car when he went to work in June of 2014. The state contends Harris wanted to escape his responsibilities as husband and father and was even sexting with an underage girl as his son took his last breath. The defense says any extramarital affairs or sexting had nothing to do with Ross's love for his son, Cooper. The defendant and his wife, Leanne, have since divorced, and she is on the state's witness list. Only two of the 11 potential jurors who ask were outright excused Monday. 370 citizens summoned for the salacious trial will report to the courthouse Tuesday morning. And the first order of business for those potential jurors is filling out a 17-page questionnaire. We are told that will likely take up the entire day, and it will be Wednesday before individual questioning will begin. Reporting live in Cobb County, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Angelique.